The Kick and Makeup MMA show is brought to you by Neon Energy Drink. Light it up. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Kick and Make Up Show. We are live from JD's living room. <laughs> Man, this is going to be the giggle episode. Oh, yeah. This this one is crazy. All right. I'm a meds man. It's all sorts of shit going on. We got to right get. So let's just do that first. Before we get, yes. get into anything, we are in your living room. Yes. We uh, had a little bit of a break, but dude, we're back. We didn't have that long of a break. No, it was like considering, extra week. Considering extra week. everything mm-hmm. going on. Oh, yeah. On. Considering uh, my mishap. So we're, obviously, we're not at Analog Arcade Bar. <laughs> We're still going to say 302 Brady Street, Denport, Iowa. Yeah, go there. I, I don't have to be there. Go there. Go there still. We still <laughs> love them. We will be back very soon. But uh, what what happened, man? Can you tell the fans what um, happened? Yeah, so, well, actually, it, fortunate for us and fortunate for all the fans, we got a little video footage of exactly what happened, and I'm going to roll that right now. I believe I can fly. So there you have it, folks. Um, the result oh, of, God. of oh, that, God. <laughs> the result, the, oh, God. <laughs> the result of that uh, calamity as I attempted my dunk was um, a dislocated kneecap and a torn, or, or I should say, ruptured patella tendon in my right knee. Which knee? This knee? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the one you just hit. Um, but yeah, it's a. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a lengthy recovery. Actually, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Initially, they seemed to tell me it was going to be about a six-month recovery, but um, I'm thinking now it's going to be three to four, probably, um, till I get back to pretty much full health. But um, it's not going to stop anything as far as UFC 200 is concerned. Yes. Um, I get my. I got my. If if you saw Captain America: Civil War at the very end when War Machine was recovering because he couldn't feel his legs after his mishap, um, Rhodey. Uh, or Iron Man gave him, or Tony Stark gave him a like bionic leg set, but I got like the half piece for one of my legs, so I'm gonna have to take a picture of that if anybody wants to see it. But it's pretty much exactly like that. And I'm just gonna it, uh, give you a lot of shit. Good. I wish I was Tony Stark and I could build you something cool and give you, you know, a cool. I'm just we, gonna give you. I some never shit. even thought about that. Yeah, you're, you're the Tony Stark guy too, right? I get. I mean, I don't know. Probably. You're the you're the Iron Man guy. Yeah, come on now. I was Team Cap. You were Team Iron Man. I was Team Iron Man, but so in does that team mean Iron Man, Man? I'm War Machine. Yeah, but I don't <laughs> want to be Iron Man out of all those guys. If I get to pick one guy from Team Iron Man, I don't think I, it would be Iron Man of who I picked out of all the all of his crew. I don't know who though, really though, because I'm, I'm not Black Panther. Obviously, <laughs> he was the best one. I think yeah, I really liked awesome. him on the team. Uh, Vision, I'm not that. I'm not that Vision stupid. wore clothes, man. Was that jarring that was to you? Stupid. I hated. <laughs> I loved it. I, let's, right. Put his mock necks I, and shit. Like that was awesome, man. I didn't. He he was making food. I got what they were doing, but I didn't like it. I didn't like that. Uh, who would I be? I don't know who I'd be on the squad. Who else was on there? Spider Man. Um, no, nah, I, I mean that wouldn't be Spider Man. Yeah. Who else was it? Um, we're missing somebody. Well, no, Iron Man, War Machine, Spider Man. Obviously, I'm not going to be... Vision, Scarlet Witch. I guess I would be Iron oh, Man. No, it wasn't then. Scarlet Witch. Scarlet Witch was on other team. It was... Uh, Black Widow. Yeah. I guess I would be Iron Man then. Mm-hmm. Out of everybody. I've got the sarcasm for it, I yep. guess. Just not yep. the techni- technical. I mean, you got the billions, too. I mean, I am that's how we fund this show, obviously. Yes. And Live did, from my house. I just didn't want to use it today <laughs> in my mansion, so we're here. You should, you should cut your beard to, like... Tony I've done Stark that before. Oh, I've done that. Fucking dope. It had like uh, mountains. It had like the yep. going like this, and it's See, been a while. And, the, and, and that's one of the other perks of um of um not being out in public as much is that <laughs> I can, can grow this out a little bit. I'm actually trying to grow a mustache. You guys can't see it, but it's coming in. I see it. I've never seen it before. Right I see it in there. It's right. Interesting. <laughs> I, I didn't even think it was possible to even get this much. 
So yeah, that little that little smudge. It's not dirt. I, I didn't have a mustache a either till later on in life. <laughs> Before it was a wispy, like disgusting. Yeah. It came in blonde too, which like, <laughs> this came in red, but the mustache came in wispy blonde. It was thin and nasty, and it finally matched <laughs> later. It came uh, in fuller, but for a while it was just disgusting. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to see what I can ball. do since I'm gonna be hanging out at the crib a whole lot. But um, yeah, but yeah, I'm, I'm gonna All be right. good. Like I said, it doesn't mess up. The UFC 200. I should be in a better walking brace, or at least they're gonna make this one pivot a little bit at the knee so that i can uh, walk around i'll just put it over my clothes and yep fucking hobble along there man. It is, so man. it isn't gonna stop can't stop won't stop yeah take that take that take that take that take everybody that, take that. uh our sponsor still neon energy drink even from the crib yep even from the crib still got them still drinking them uh I'm, i want to say too that I've never needed this neon so much as to right now because it is uh, 9.45 in the morning. Yeah. I just want to tell you guys, it's, it's earlier than we usually do the show, but that's mm-hmm. how dedicated we are. Exactly. And uh, that's just what we do for you guys. So www.glowenergy.neonenergyclub.com. Check out the website. Check out everything that's going on with them. All the great ingredients. I still say, oh, man, my phone dropped. <laughs> Sorry about that, everybody. Got some notes on here later. This is rogue. I got my phone on my lap because I got something that didn't print out because the script was being stupid. The printer this morning. This is the this is the like random this is show. It, man. This is it's good though. It's good. Check blame it on everything. the meds. I was just gonna blame say it I love the meds. Blame it on the meds. <laughs> Make sure you say meds and not meth. That's you don't want to oh, blame shit. it on that. Nope. There's not. Ooh, got weird. Mm-hmm. Anyway, that was that was in the that was that part was in the neon energy drink <laughs> commercial. They're probably like, great. Thanks for talking about meth during the part where you're advertising us. Liquid meth. Appreciate it. No. So anyway, good drink. Go check them out. Don't do meth. All right. So the particulars www.kickandmakeup.com is the website. Check out all of our past shows and anything we've done the last few years on that sh- on that website. Our Facebook page, uh, type in Kick and Make Up in the search bar. Uh, ask to come in. We let you in. We have some fun. We never let you out. You come in, but you never, never go out. No, no. There's nothing wrong with that either. I mean, it's pretty cozy. Yeah. We had about five or six people come this week, too. That was pretty cool. Nice. Yep. Twitter, at Kick and Make Up is the shows, and JD's, at Hybrid MMA is mine. We are closing in on 400 followers on the Kick and yesterday, Make Up page. Man. And those are legit followers. I don't I don't do that extra shit. So um, it's, it's, it's hard I, earned, man. Like, it this is, is. It is. It's hard. Like, I got my own Twitter now, too, at uh, Jeremy JD Dorsey. Oh, I um, figured that was coming with you being at home. Yeah, yeah. Yep, I just I had, to, had to get that going. So, yeah, I got my own, too. Um, I kind of post from both of them. They're kind of specific. Like, on, my, on mine, I kind of talk about other things and stuff, too. So it's kind of cool. Follow me on there, too, at Jeremy JD Dorsey. Dorsey. There it is, man. I got to add that into the script later now. All Extra right. work. It's good. Hey, it's all right, man. Instagram, we're on, and uh, and just type in kick and make up. Oh, and speaking of Instagram, I haven't even told you this, but like Cyborg likes every picture that we post. Really? Yeah, like the Chris Cy- Like I checked it out and everything. I'm like, hmm. We should uh, right. get on that then. Yeah, I know. I, I I sent her a message, but I didn't get a response. So I'm think I might hit her up on Twitter and see what's up. But yeah, like yeah, it's weird. Like I was, I mean, and anybody want to go verify? You can go verify. Like she likes every picture that we post. Done. Like I I love hearing that, man. Yeah, that's pretty uh, cool. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna for sure get something going with that. Um, and obviously YouTube, you're watching this, so like and subscribe. Share with your friends. Share with uh, just make some flyers for us. Take the flyers to work. Yeah, uh, drop you them know, off. just you know, just be our street team. Post everybody. them in gas station bathrooms. Yes, like in the st- in the stalls and outside. We the need stalls. like kick and make up like shaped urinal cakes. Speaking pee on us. Yep. <laughs> like that. Yep. R. Kelly style. <laughs> All right. It's so. On you. It's on you. <laughs> <laughs> trip, trip, trip. <laughs> oh God! You guys remember that song, don't you? <laughs> Dave Chappelle. All right. So, big announcements. Yes. I gotta ask you this question right here. What the Brock? That was. I was really proud of that when I saw that. I made yep. that, like what the Brock? What yep. the Brock is going on? All right. B- announcement this week. I don't know if this is a rumor. I don't know if this is a. Uh, I don't know what's going on, if it's real or fake. So Brock Lesnar, was he added to the UFC roster? All uh, that all that shit you talk about me watching WWE. All that shit you talk about me watching it. Yeah. Got a little little putting two and two together since I watch it, you know? Um, ever since WrestleMania, Brock Lesnar has been 
gone. And it kind of led to a lot of speculation as to, you know, maybe he was just getting a break, you know, the rest of his body. But um, it kind of adds up. He had just recently, I know, um, either signed or was negotiating a new contract with WWE. So um, it's kind of odd. I don't know if he asked for his release or if he's trying to do both. But, um, yeah, that, that would be... That would be quite the um, last little stocking stuffer for UFC 200 if they decide to go that route. So, so that's what I got to give a shout out to our boy uh, Thad Munson, <laughs> me and Munson. Uh, we were talking about, what up? yeah, what up, Mun? I never called you Mun ever, <laughs> <laughs> but it sounded good right there. So, uh, we were talking about this because he brought it to my attention too. I just seen it earlier in the day too, and we're like, why? So if it's true, like. We started going down like the roster of like okay, because the because D- Dana said too, I've got one more big announcement, and I'm like, well, that's mm-hmm. big is in quote, you know, okay, mm-hmm. that be that be a big announcement, Brock sure Lesnar. Mm-hmm. So uh, we're like, okay, but who does he fight? Like, and we went, started going down the list, um, and we couldn't figure it out. Like I thought too, he was he might fight your doppelganger, uh, Derek Lewis, <laughs> yes, um, because uh, he uh, <laughs> is on a. You know they're they're they look like they're kind of pumping him up right now. Mm-hmm. Um, he's he's big guy. He's a scary guy. He's uh, you know he's killing people um, in the ring in the cage. And I'm um, like that could be fun. Like that could be a good test for him right now. Um, but he's fighting Roy Nelson next. Yep. Um, everybody's taken uh, Mir. They're not gonna do Mir because Mir's probably retiring soon. Um, See that that was my first thought. Was it? But uh-huh. I thought it did he drop okay. dirty and now, all that stuff. And yeah, yeah, I hadn't thought about that. But yeah. um, outside of that, I thought Mir would be perfect only because you, you're gonna want if if Lesnar is gonna compete, you're gonna want to throw him against someone who he can probably beat. Mm-hmm. Um, you don't want to put him in against against uh, the Beast because that's that's too much. Yeah. That's gonna be too much. Yep. So um, <clears throat> for him to ease back in, you would think he would go against somebody who's a little bit lesser of competition. So um, I was thinking Frank Mir would be perfect, but yeah, I forgot about the whole yeah he's, um, he's a suspension yeah, thing. So, so yeah, uh, but yeah, I think we're gonna have to find somebody in that sort of level. You know that that sort of range of, of fighter, I would guess. Well, you guys, you know, comment below too. Who do you? Yeah, what do you think? Who do you want Brock Lesnar to fight? Who sh- who should he fight? It's it's weird because you and I also talk about you know the heavyweight division, mm-hmm. even having this conversation. There isn't a whole lot of names that I'm thinking of right now, so it's gonna have to be somebody that's probably ranked seven or eight that we don't we're not even talking about mm-hmm. coming in and and just to get Brock back in there. Um, so that was weird. That was a weird thing I saw come up this last week. Weird, cool. Weird, cool. It was weird, cool. And I like Brock Lesnar watching him fight. I just he had so much going on when he was in there with his diverticulitis and all that and he just kind of doesn't like to get hit in the face either so there's that uh and so i just was like well i get it and you know his fights were some of the biggest draws in pay-per-view uh history for ufc so i got it i get it but interesting and he fought at 100 and he did so i didn't even think about that so yeah yeah um can i say what i said earlier in the week i believe on facebook or something else but I still think it's going to be GSP and uh, Anderson Silva for the last fight. I think I don't think the gallbladder thing is going to be that big of a deal, and I think they're like waiting. But now's the time; like it's six weeks away. I think you got to announce that last big announcement. And I feel like they're just waiting for something to say. Is GSP and Anderson Silva co-main event? Yeah, <clears throat> to me that one that one makes the most sense. Um, as long as the gallbladder thing is cool, um, it would give everybody sort of a. A super fight that you've been asking for for you five know, years, six or, yeah, years. five six years at this point. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I think that would be that would be ideal. If you can't if you can't figure out the Lesnar thing, I think that would be ideal. Okay, another big announcement yesterday, or <coughs> I believe that came up. Uh, BJ Penn is out of UFC 199, so the retirement is uh, still gonna be. <laughs> retired that that sentence yeah. didn't make sense but it, he's not coming back um he was suspended monday after he disclosed that he used a prohibited iv during an out of competition drug test from march um his quote was i voluntarily disclosed to the usa da that during a non-fight period that i had an iv administered uh under the care of a doctor the rule for iv uses had changed since my last fight in the ufc and i was unaware of the change and voluntarily disclosed this information i had no idea that the iv was banned 365 days a year at no time in my career in martial arts have I ever dropped doped 
and anticipate all test results from USADA will come back clean and we'll be working with the UFC to get the matter cleared up and return to fight as soon as possible. He didn't know it was banned 365 days. So how many days do you think he thought it was banned? <coughs> Only when you're training for a fight, I guess. <laughs> Which is, a, I guess there's a, a, a certain time, I guess maybe you have to put in paperwork. <laughs> Every other Monday and one holiday. Like, I, yeah. It, no IVs on Saturdays. No IV Saturday. <laughs> I was trying to think of something Only clever. neon. See, if he had neon, he wouldn't even need a he goddamn needs IV. neon to sponsor him. Right, because it's so refreshing. I was parched, too. and <sighs> Not parched anymore. Nope. Oh, man. All right. Uh, so just, I think something weird's going on. I don't yeah. think he was ready yeah. to fight again. And th- and then, too, there's there's been a lot of drama with him behind the scenes, too. <clears throat> even leading up to his retirement, quote unquote, the first go around. So, um, if I had to guess, yeah, there's there's some other stuff going on. Like you said, he might not be ready because um, he self disclosed. Right, he just said, "Oh, right. wait a minute, I just want to oh, let oh, you oh, know." Me telling myself, I mean, yeah, because it's not like you would drop dirty for using an IV. No, so he knew. So he knew. That was specifically what they were looking for. Oh, see, I hadn't thought about it like that. Yeah, it's see, a weird, oh, yeah, he's, he, he's, he's on something. Yeah, yeah. he's, he's I mean, on he something. He knew that by saying that it was going to make them pull the fight. And <clears throat> or, yeah. and then maybe, like, well, yeah, it, it had to be something something that came up or some cold feet after he had, you know, decided to, to, to jump back in because there's, there's no reason to take the fight if you're not going to eventually fight 90 you know I mean? people were uh, the people were saying he was gonna lose anyway right you know it was yep. ross pearson right he was yep. coming back to yep. fight uh and i i kind of agreed with that too mm-hmm. like do you're gonna mm-hmm. get your head knocked off right um so that was weird that came up i'm not that upset about it that's you know it was on 199 199 still a great card we're gonna talk about that card later so not a big loss to me it wasn't even on the main card anyway it was you know on the fs1 prelims right. so not a huge loss to the MMA world. Um, if he comes back, maybe they can find somebody a little bit more even for him to come back to. Um, so that's the announcements and the rumors of the week. Um, how we do this show for you guys that are watching for the first time. Uh, welcome, once again. Hello. First of all. Hello. Welcome to my home. Howdy. This is JD's living room. This yeah, is his couch. My wall. I can go. We can do the show like this, I guess. Now too, is that super unprofessional? Well, I, I don't want to. A little bit. I mean, I don't okay. want to crush my dog. He's oh. kind of sitting behind me. Oh, he's behind you. Yeah, I not behind he was you. Behind me. Because <laughs> I felt something. It was a remote, and okay. I'm like, I just you just smashed murdered my dog. dog. Just killed Max. God damn. Good thing I did. So <laughs> the high kick. This is how it goes. The high kick of the week. We do. We talk about what's the best thing going on. The low kick, which is the worst thing going on. Um, and that's some bull kick where something weird and goofy's going on. We just talk shit about it. We also have some new segments, uh, the Kohai kick. Konnichiwa. And the Coco high kick. Yep, I was going to eat my cereal. So those are some fun segments we do from time to time. And we also have one more segment today that I'll wait to say the name. Yep. <laughs> I can't wait. Yep. All right. High kick of the week. I thought the high kick of the week should go to Conor McGregor in his interview on ESPN this past Sunday on the Sunday Conversation. Um, Just period. I liked it. I watched it. It wasn't flashy, like ridiculous Conor McGregor. It was kind of toned down Conor McGregor. I felt like he was accountable for some of the stuff that happened during that Twitter beef, Twitter exchange with him and everybody. Um, But what? So I, I know your face, too. Um, the quotes that he wanted, he wanted reasonable media. So that's why he wasn't flying around back from Iceland. And then sometimes you have to do what's right for you and what's what, not what's right for everybody. I love right. those two quotes. So give me your thoughts. Cause I know I, I I'm going to agree with you too on your thoughts. Cause I know what you're thinking. 100%, 100% backpedal, like took as much heat as he's ever taking or ever taken during his career. Um, he was getting shitted on from every angle for doing what he did. And, I mean, the, the media is the media. Just like I talked to all my people on, on, on Twitter, man. We had an even conversation about this yesterday. So, uh, big shout out to, to everybody on there. But, um, yeah, it was – I think it was 100% backpedal. It's the only option that he had. Like, I think Connor does a good job of being 
um, gracious when he needs to be gracious. I don't know if I believe the gracious angle. From yeah, him. that's what I was thinking your face um, was. Yep. I don't know if I believe the gracious angle, but it's the angle that he had to play. I give him credit for playing the correct angle. I give him credit for that. I don't believe it. I don't believe that's how I don't believe that's how he feels. I believe he knows what he needs to say. And he knows that he came off as being sort of like a spoiled child in the whole situation. So he had to come off as being older and more adult and more mature. And that's what he did. So, um, you know, kudos to him for that. But do I buy it? No. That's no. what I thought, too. Like, so even when he said when he lost to Nate Diaz and he said, I'm humble in victory and humble in defeat. Right. And then a week later, he started doing all this. Well, you didn't mean that line because you started <laughs> no. bitching and moaning and making excuses and, and saying some crazy shit. Um, so he did this. And uh, I, you're right, too. Like. You can't be one way, 100% all in, and then the next week be on the other end of the spectrum. Mm -hmm. So I feel like what's, which is the real you? I think, once again, though, some it falls somewhere in the middle. Mm -hmm. it I, does. Don't, I don't think the real him is the, you know, saying he's back on UFC 200, and Dana White's like, no, he's not. He's just saying not that. Quite. And not I don't quite. think he's this, like, apologetic guy that we saw in the Sunday conversation. But it was, a, it was a nice breath of fresh air for me to watch him just sit there and talk and not be over the top and say stupid lines and, and just say, like, you know, emotions get the best of us sometimes. I agree with that. I just – I really liked his – and I, I agree with the reasonable media line. He said, you know, I don't – I get that it's his job, but I don't think they should be able to drag him around every waking minute. And when they call him, he has to jump, like – and I don't know, like, athlete, athletics in the, on the, the highest level either. Um, but I feel like do you have to. You have to. If they text him at 3 a.m. and say, we need you on a flight at 8 a.m., like, drop everything you're doing. See, you got to be in California. I don't know exactly how their media stuff works. It sounds like that, though. It, it, it does. And, and he makes cool. it sound like that. Yeah. Like, I would have to think that that, if it's, if it's like that, and um, you know, I'm gonna have to ask Niall on uh on Twitter because he's he's our resident Conor McGregor aficionado. Um, but yeah, I don't I don't think that it's like that. I would I would think that that's unfair. If it is, if it's like that, that is unfair. Yeah. But if it's sort of a thing where you're gonna have to grind for a week and a half, two weeks, um, well, probably not even that long. It's usually about a week. Um, where you're gonna yeah, your your training is probably gonna slack. Um, during that time, but I would think that that's what you are. If that's what you do, that's what you have to do. Yeah, and um, you're the champion too. So right. obviously, when you get the belt, it ja they've all said it. It jacks up, you know. Yeah. And I levels. mean, it, it it might not be fair, but that's what you have to do if you want to be a part of the brand. And you know what the 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 requirements are for the brand. You're gonna have to do that. So, um, suck it up and do it. it it's it, and that that doesn't mean that he can't complain about it. I'm not saying he can't complain because I'm not. I'm, I'm one of those people that I, I kind of go back and forth on things just like, you know, just like he does and just like I'm sure anybody does. But I don't think that you can necessarily complain about what is status quo. If that's what you're if that's what is to be expected of you, that's what's expected. So you have to kind of go out there and do it and suck it up. It's it's part of what has allowed you to become the, the mega superstar that you are. So um in, in, in one breath, you can't be upset about that. And then in the same breath, continue to reap the rewards of it. So we're gonna we're gonna end on that note because he got the high kick this week. We're gonna go back, it's, and it, it's definitely high kick worthy. And that's though. what I think. It's like definitely high that kick whole worthy. thing, I, the whole thing of of just kind of playing cleanup. That's what he did. He played cleanup. Some people don't even ever play cleanup. Right. So I guess right, he gets right, the right. high kick for playing cleanup, even if it's not a hundred percent genuine. You know, you you did like you said, you did what you were supposed to do, and that's mm -hmm. half the battle sometimes. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. he gets the high kick. We're gonna talk about some bull kick later you know in the second half of the interview if you guys haven't seen it okay. the first half was okay um this week's a kohai kick yes we get quiet Shh. we need to, i'm gonna buy one of those little gongs <laughs> or a fan we need like fans <laughs> the kohai kick and we go <laughs> and then we look over <laughs> we bring it down I'm going on Amazon today, getting like those yeah, we need a bunch of little all Asian this. stuff. We need props for all this. Yeah. Oh God, yeah. We do. Wouldn't We're that gonna, be awesome? Yeah, like a okay. What? 
Dude, we well, need Cocoa Puffs. Gonna, I'm going to buy a box of Cocoa Puffs. Go. Like, go. we're going to... Oh, God. It just... See? Or a Hershey bar or something. We needed to be in a new environment to get, like, the juices flowing again. All right. <laughs> th- we're going to make the best of this. All right. So, this week's co High Kick, I thought, uh, you know, Biz being in Rockhold. I think that, for me, gets the co High Kick today because... Weidman's out of 199. I'm like, super pissed about that. Everybody is. We wanted to see part two of Rock Holden Weidman. Um, and I was like, who are they going to find? They got, they got Bisbing. I I don't mind Michael Bisbing. Um, I was surprised that he beat Anderson Silva. You know, it wasn't a great fight, really. And it was uh, Anderson Silva that was coming off, you know, mm-hmm. a huge retirement. So I don't give him that much credit. But, I mean, he beat Anderson Silva. Um, so... I, I watched that UFC Tonight thing where they went back and forth. Mm-hmm. That was fun, man. Oh, it was good. It and, was good. Uh, you know, I, I obviously I think some of it was, you know. For the show. For, for the show. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, I just want to ask you, like, what's what's Biggs? What, how, are you excited about Bisbing fighting Rockhold? And what are his chances uh, for an upset win? To me, it's one of those things that's cool to see. Um, you know, especially after watching Bisping for so long, I wish we could somehow put him in a time machine and like move him back like five years yeah. on the clock. And yeah. then we might be able to see a real hell of a fight. But um, there's one thing that I think you can't question about him and that's his heart. And I think that that that's going to show through in this match. I don't think he wins. I don't, I don't either. We're going to talk about our picks but, later. Um, but yeah, yeah I, it, I think that it'll it'll be. I think it'll be slightly more entertaining than what most people think it's going to be. And I think it will be more entertaining than the first one, mm-hmm. the first go around, mm-hmm. because, you know, Rockhold got him a little early. Second round, yeah, was second. it, maybe? Um, I th- yeah, I think it was second. And so was it by a kick, too? Did he? I, don't I think remember. he kicked him in, on the side, in the side and dropped him. So I, I see it going longer this mm-hmm. time. Mm-hmm. Um, but you're right. But, yeah, I just I'm, – I'm happy they picked somebody – like Bisming, he's pretty popular still. Uh, people like to watch him, um, and uh, his. I, I still have always been a Michael Bisming hands fan. Mm-hmm. Like his hands are good. I like watching him. Oh yeah, and he doesn't go down, and he, he just keeps going. I think Rockhold needs somebody to pressure him a little bit, but Rockhold's on a whole different level mm-hmm. of athlete right now. Yeah. Um, so I I I was happy for that. I was excited they found somebody because I was like, who who right now are they gonna find and you know, it, could, it couldn't be Jacare. Um, so, this is going to work. So, that was my co-high kick. Mm-hmm. Not a big, not a huge co-high kick this week. What do you guys think? Do you think that was a good, you know, comment below. Do you think that was a good thing? Would you have rather seen somebody else? Um, do you guys like Michael Bisbing still? What do you think of Luke Rockhold? He kind of came off fucking smug on that. Yeah. First he, of all, yeah, douchey yeah. with his uh, track jacket zipped up to his neck. No, first of all, no. So this is all of a sudden. This is a this is a fashion police. Unzip your unzip uh, your track yeah, jack a little bit. Let your I, neck breathe a little bit. So I don't, I don't know, man. You come off like a a Russian boxing trainer when you have your <laughs> your, your, your track jacket just all the way up to the top, like you know you used to train mm-hmm. with Ivan Drago mm-hmm. or something like that. I would have beat the Bisping. <laughs> I, I, I would the Bisping. I would beat the Bisping. <laughs> And they will have some vodka. <laughs> <laughs> so I I don't know, man. I'm kind I'm kind with of with neon. I'm kind of pulling. <laughs> cheers. I'm kind of pulling for Biz being honestly, but yeah. My, yeah. So we everybody else says my heart. You know, we'll say it later. But my heart wants Biz being. My brain knows mm-hmm. Rock Hold's gonna win. Yeah. So um, that's my. Wouldn't that be an unlikely title? Yeah. Jesus. And then it's <laughs> like what? Crazier things have happened, man. Crazier yeah. things have they happened. Sure have. So that's they why sure I love the sport. But uh so yeah. So we'll kick it over to you yes. for the Coco kick. Um the the Coco high kick. Since I don't have a chocolate bar, you can look at this beautiful I chocolate. Into my skin. Skin too. <laughs> I just did what you the vanilla were doing. high kick. It was like, why am I doing this? Because my skin. Yes. There you go. There I go. my skin. Okay, Coco, Coco. Yeah. So I th- yeah, I think we're gonna yeah got to get a Hershey bar and Cocoa Puffs. Or we'll talk, man. Something. We'll talk. Yeah. We got. I mean, um, props. But yeah, the Coco high kick this week is gonna go to me. I'm gonna hey, give it a self, <laughs> a self re- uh, reward uh, award. Um, for vacuuming my living room, which looks kind of crappy now. Like, I did a pretty decent job um, when it first happened, but I have a dog, and um, 
He must have shook and decided to roll around a little bit. It's a, it, it looked like it, it generally looked really good when I did it, but that was like an hour and a half ago, and it's not quite as good anymore. I wish I could show everybody. Um, you stopped. You got tired. Like, you went over oh, here. Oh, yeah. Like, I certainly got tired right here. You got tired. And, and I did hey, it. Hold on. That's okay. Yeah. Like, that's fine. Let like, me show you everybody what I did it with. Hold on. Oh, watch this. I'm just going to lean this in the camera a little bit. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, God. That's my walker. And uh, yeah, I kind of vacuumed with a walker. People didn't think it was motherfucking possible this morning. I had my wife hating on me. She was like, what are you doing? <laughs> and I said, I'm going to vacuum. She was like, if you fall or anything else like that, I'm not responsible. And then she left. So, um, God damn, that's yeah, I was love. cold-blooded, man, cold-blooded. My mom was here. She took care of me really good. My wife, um, the, I, I attribute Keep all of my- I'm not helping you up. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> I attribute every ounce of me doing everything that I'm doing now and doing great right now to my to my wife because she hasn't, no, she, she helps me out a ton, but she doesn't baby me at all. So she kind of, which is good in this situation yeah. because I, I get out and I, I, I have to do my thing and you can see my corner over there. That's my, that's where I've been living. Snacks. Um, <laughs> your snacks in your bag. Yep. Your snacks in the bag. All sorts of stuff, man. Just this, that's where I live at. But yeah, initially I couldn't even like, um, like get out of bed without like assistance. Um, everything needed me. Like, needed like you know help. I couldn't bend my knee at all. Now I can bend it a little bit. I can put weight on it. So yeah, obviously I vacuumed today, and I think that's deserving of a big ass Coco high kick for me. It's also deserving of a meme, fans. Kick and make up fans. You've done it before. Yeah, me. <laughs> me vacuuming. Yes. In a walker. Yes. In a leg race. In the Civil War. If somebody in does that, leg race. I got a motherfucker. I got a shirt for you. I will. I promise you. I will mail it to you. If you, somebody can make a good, a good meme of something of me being broke down, injured, vacuuming with a walker. It's kind of specific. It's but very if you can specific. Pull it off. That's why it's. All, I was like, <laughs> if you can pull it off, I got a shirt for you. God, please, fans, I got one for you. Do this one. <laughs> if you've ever done a meme, do this one. If you've ever been on the fence of doing do a meme, this is the one for you. <laughs> yeah, that deserves a cocoa hike for sure, man. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm gonna vacuum today, and I, I, I'm gonna now. I, me. Now I feel like I need to do an even better job. Because you're me. over here, you know. I mean, once we're done, you could, you, could, you could vacuum this again. Nah, oh, okay. I just, I'm, I probably won't even vacuum at home. I just lied. I mean, I was supposed to today, but I don't. I got to mow, too. It's one of those days oh, you got to you know, I hate yard work, but I was just telling a friend of mine earlier today that, man, I kind of wish I could vacuum, and or I wish I could mow the grass now. Even though I hate it. I mm -hmm. hate it with the passion, but I wish I could now do it Now it's different. Now. It's all yeah. different, buddy. Perspective. Perspective. I wanted to say something else too. I wanted to say perspiration because you said perspective. I want to be like perspiration. that too. Oh my god! If for the first like four days I couldn't shower, horrific. Yeah, horrific. My hair gets super greasy after like oh, a day or man, two. Like I would a, like, and, and there's only so much. Okay, TMI time. There's only so much you can do in the like bathroom washing up and stuff. And it was it was rough, man. It was rough. If anybody wants to see a picture of my knee. Maybe I can just flash it on the screen because yesterday when they checked, when they took yeah, it off obviously. the brace. Okay, I'm going to show it right obviously we do. now. That was my knee. Yes. That's exactly what it looks like. Um, and yeah, it was um, it was a little rough initially, but um, it's pretty good now. It's pretty good now. The road to recovery. Yep. That's what we're doing. Yep. I said we, but it's you. But hey. It's we. All right. You're so, with me in spirit. Right? Yes, man. For sure. <laughs> So, <laughs> the low kick, switching gears. Dude, I got to give it to Johanna Jendrick. I I tried. I yep. tried. To, I didn't put champion because I got to get this last name. Yeah, I just, I wish, is there, okay, fans again. Is there a video where somebody pronounces her name right? There is because early on I found it. So, okay. I, I haven't watched it I gotta 10 find times again. to pronounce it right. I just need to keep hearing yeah. it to pronounce it right because I don't. I want to say her last name. But I don't want to say Johanna champion. And then, um, you know, Goldberg always kind of, <laughs> I feel like he rushes through it. <laughs> you can't really exactly. No. figure out how to pronounce it so we need it like yeah. um what is it phonetic is it phonetically oh hi yeah phonetic yeah phonetically no, it needs I to be broken like down yeah yeah yeah, yeah, like, yeah i think that's phonetically yeah okay okay yeah yeah like um that. so i gotta give her the low kick man because <laughs> i am watching i'm liking the season of tough this year oh it's great um watching it i'm all caught up um I'm pretty, I just lied to you guys. I'm pretty much caught up. I started episode four, <laughs> the last episode, I'm like 25 minutes into it, but I did 
see who won because for the purpose of this show. So mm-hmm. I'm like almost caught up. Uh, Team Gedalia is up 4-0. Um, and uh, Johanna's just sucks. Like she's, is this, this is not her. I don't, this is, she's trying too hard, man. She's trying to be the heel. She sucks at shit talking. Claudia really isn't even having the shit talking. She's like, their shit talking in the hallways are so staged. It's terrible. It's coming off terrible. Um, Johanna, her speech that she gave to her team in episode three was horrible. Horrible. <laughs> like, I got what she was trying to do, but she's like, you guys don't understand. I helped my parents in their grocery store to be champion. You wouldn't understand. Well, fuck no, nobody would understand. Like, they didn't grow up I, in Poland. And, right, and if like, I didn't understand, why are you telling me? Yeah, like, you, you use You're that as helping. an example. And I, that, and that's, <laughs> You're not helping. That's an example that, you know, made her who she is, but you can't expect to use that example uh, on your team who didn't grow up like that, and they're not going to relate to that. So... I'm not a man. She's making me not a fan, and I know that's what the UFC is trying to do. They're trying to get me to hate, or they're trying to get the fans to hate one and like the other, and they're doing a great job. So I guess high kick, and you know, for the UFC for doing this, but low kick for Johanna because I've seen other people on that show that are really assholes or really bitches, and that's really them, and that's fine. But she's, I didn't think of her like this going into it. And what do you think, man? I don't think it's real. No. I don't think it's real. It doesn't come off as real. And like you said, um, I kind of think that they key people in on sort of what they're trying to run with. And I think that's what they're trying to run with with her. Um, I don't, I guess, it probably would have been worse if they made Claudia the heel (laughs) and make her be the the, the extra mean person. But, um, yeah, it doesn't come off good. And then it... What what's compounded by it is that her team keeps losing. So like it's one thing if you're the mean you know mean coach, and you know horrible horrible personality and you know that sort of thing. It's it's one thing if your team is winning, but when you're losing and you're still that person, it's called the Ronda Rousey effect. Yeah, and it makes you yeah. look really 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 bad. And yep. so yeah, I'm I'm hoping that that isn't her personality because when when I've seen interviews with her, she doesn't come off like that at all at all she seems really genuine um and she seems you know like a nice like a nice person i think there's there's an edge to her um but they're really overplaying that edge. yeah it's coming off terrible yeah and i and i and like i said i i'm a huge fan of hers and i can't wait for this fight I, anyway mm-hmm. so th- but this we is, gotta ask her that I, I we i'm sure we can interview her we, yeah. we gotta ask her that like is that i wonder what her answer would be to that and will we get like she, she'll smirk i can see a smirk coming out and just being like <laughs> yep. not really I, I think she'll be honest like i you know i did what i had to do but it's working though because i don't like her right now like i just i'm like oh my god and 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 see i wonder i wonder why you want to and play. i'm getting got right now like they're getting me and i'm like how are you this I'll, oh it's making me see, mad and i wonder to me to me and i know it's probably this way for other fans and stuff too but watching ronda rousey parade around like she did during her tough season was enough to make me dislike her and i still dislike her. that's what i'm saying that is a problem i don't think you need to have people be so hated exactly it it doesn't have to be like that and my brain knows that Mm -hmm. that's not really how she Mm -hmm. is and same for rousey same for rousey yeah but it's still it still lingers (sighs) rousey too like you said it still lingers and i don't want that to linger for johanna Mm -hmm. after this Mm -hmm. season because i was a huge fan before i'm Mm -hmm. still a huge fan but now it's you're hitting some different things with me that i'm like I'm gonna shoot root 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 root. I'm gonna root. That didn't sound good coming out. No, it's root. It's gonna. It root. is root. Man, this is early. So it's gonna. I'm. Gonna, I'm still gonna root for her. Yeah. In after this season, but I just it's gonna take some rebuilding too. So. No, I agree, man. It's a. That's a that's a situation, and like I said, it doesn't help that she's losing. No. And her team is losing. But if you guys aren't watching Tough right now, this is a good season so far to watch. It's pretty fun, man. They're doing a good job. So far, there hasn't been too much stupid stuff going on in the house and all that. Because I always feel like... Extra staged. Yeah, when all that stuff happens, I'm like, God, this show kind of does suck sometimes. <laughs> and I just wait for the fight to the, to get to the end. But I'm pretty it's I'm pretty invested in the season mm-hmm. so far. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's good. That's a low kick. That's some bull kick. Let's go rewind to the beginning of the show where we uh, talked about Conor McGregor's interview on ESPN on the Sunday Conversation. So, obviously, uh, they went to Mayweather, 
So right now, that symbol kick goes to the Conor McGregor versus Floyd Mayweather fight in September, potentially, is what a rumor is now. Um, his quote, too, was ridiculous, Conor's quote, quote. He needs me. I don't need him. Uh, you both need mm. each other right now. Mm. Obviously, that's why it's going on. You both kind of are needing each other. You're not coming off of great things right now. You know, Mayweather's coming off the lowest pay-per-view he's ever had. McGregor's coming off his worst loss ever in, his, in the history. So you kind of do need each other. That's why we're talking about this. Uh, Dana White says, you know, if Floyd wants to fight Conor, you know, for Conor, for Floyd to call him, call me, you know. Dude, I, I, I'll watch it, obviously. Everybody will watch Everyone it. Will. It will be the biggest pay-per-view in the history, right? Yep. If it goes down, yep. it will be the biggest pay-per-view yep. in history. Oh, okay. oh. oh. But I, I, just, don't... I just got borderline orgasmic thinking about, wow, that was a lot, um, thinking about if we thought the McGregor-Diaz smack talk was good, oh, my God. Can you imagine the smack talk with this one? Yeah. Like, I, I would... It'll They're be, gonna sell the shit out of that fight. Oh, it'll be on the level of when you know Rampage and uh, Rashad Evans. Oh yeah, <laughs> some, that was you know pretty yeah, good. That was the classic. Uh, was and 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 like you said, and most recently Diaz and McGregor. But this and, will and be unparalleled. The thing with Diaz is I don't think he could. He wasn't as eloquent as he Mayweather. Yeah, <laughs> that's what made it awesome too, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, fuck you, man. <laughs> No, you're a bitch. That was great. You are. You are. That, I mean, there was one point in their interviews where, no, you are. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Okay. <laughs> like, that's what made it good. But that, and then he went out and whooped his ass. Beat the <laughs> chef. That's what he made it the best. That was made it this shit. But yeah, so this one, man, I thought I would be really excited for this. Um, But I'm not. I'm not really excited for it. And it's going to be, and I was even thinking forward, it's going to be 100 bucks. Yes. Because they know people or more. What if it's more than a hundred dollars to get this? What was what was um hundred Mayweather Pacquiao was one hundred? Was a hundred. Yeah, they might do one twenty or something. They can. And people are gonna pay for it. And I will too. And like and I'm just like No, I'm not gonna pay for it. I'm gonna watch it somewhere though. I'm gonna watch it. I'm somewhere. gonna watch it somewhere too. All right, yeah. I'm with you, man. All right. Like I mean, yeah, that's that's one of those events where you're gonna want to be around people. Yeah. And what the hell else do you put on a card with that? Like, what? Yeah, what's the co event? <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Like, my brain just was like, what? It, so then, is it like... Is it all weird fights? Oh, man. <laughs> is it Tony Hawk? Oh. <laughs> is it Tony Hawk skateboarding around? Is it somebody else juggling? <laughs> Can we bring back what we, our can, idea? Can we have like Carrie Strug in the background, like doing flips? Yep. <laughs> is she alive still? I hope no. so. Yeah, I, I always she say is. that too. I always say people, and you're like, yeah, they're dead. I'm like, fucking. Yeah, asshole. I think she's alive. Yeah. Can we just need to have like. Sean Johnson. I know she's alive. I like her too. She's like four foot. Three. Oh, yeah. I remember her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What was like Who her. was the mean face girl in the Olympics? She was cool too. Oh, yeah. The she one they made the meme about. She always um, looked mean. I don't know. She can come. Somebody tell us. Just look like this to the fight. Like, <laughs> right. look at her reaction during the fight. And she's like, <laughs> like that. <laughs> Once again, I got a shout out to the hippo. <laughs> yes. The skeptical hippo is coming back. We got some love last show from the skeptical <laughs> hippo. Did. Hippo, what do you think he's going to think about this? <laughs> Connor and Floyd. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I can't tell you who the winner is going to be. Mm. I'm a skeptical hippo. I do too, man. I gotta get it. I, w- I probably will buy a shirt that has that picture. <laughs> just point to it all. Just time. a hippo. That's just like that'd be perfect for work. <laughs> skeptical hippo. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. what do you think, man? I mean, um, I just I don't. I oh man, and that's all we're gonna be talking about between after two hundred. I mean, we've got two hundred one set. You know, Lawler and Woodley. Two hundred two is gonna be. Well, who knows? Because 202 is supposed to be uh, McGregor Diaz 2. Right. So is that at the end of the year? after the? But you know what? Hunter McGregor is going to get the shit kicked out of him. Again. And he's going to be on suspension. Mm-hmm. So I don't even know about mm-hmm. McGregor and uh, Diaz 2. Because if this fight's in September, he's not going to be cleared to fight in December. Nope. So this is stupid. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> It, it 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 really depends on where you know what they what their priority is for McGregor. Um 
if they want to cash in their chips now, because I mean, obviously it's going to have to be under the UFC umbrella if they want to, um, you know, they're going to have to fork over some money to to him as or to 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 the UFC because Connor can't fight anywhere else. Um, so <clears throat> they're going to have to yeah they're going to have to figure out something because it doesn't quite add up. Um, correctly if you want him to fight Diaz again or maybe the plan isn't to fight Diaz and then regardless of what goes on with this you can then have him take a break and then reemerge in you know 2017 early 2017 and you know go back to his division and you can say his long awaited return to his division God, I just need to do that yeah that should yes, should that's and, what I'm waiting for just go back and I mean, to 45 if, if anything, go back to 45 pick up a W then do the Mayweather thing if you, I mean, if you have to do the Mayweather thing, and and that's gonna be boxing, yeah, it's not gonna outbox Mayweather. And that's what he said too in the interview. I mean, God. he's not worried. He's so nonchalant and not worried about it. And whenever anybody is like Ooh, that, he's it's terrified. annoying too because you have to be honest. I mean, I, you don't have to be, but you, you know. People ask me too, like when when I was fighting too, like, oh, if you fought this person, what do you think would happen? I w- I'm gonna get my ass beat. That's what's gonna happen. I might land a couple punches, but I'm gonna get my ass beat because I knew the levels and differences of when people were asking me certain people, and then other people were like, oh no, I think I got that one. He's just like, ah, you know, I'll be fine. It's no big deal. I'm like, nah, dude, for real. You really think that you're gonna go in there and stand toe to toe with? him and it's not mma so you're not gonna shoot you're not i mean it's just gonna be hands like does he even have a pro fight when he boxed in ireland did, did he even have a pro fight i don't, know. I don't think so i, don't think I so really either. don't think he even had a pro <coughs> fight ever so no, help us yeah so uh, yeah, I, don't I don't know man we'll, we'll talk about it more later we'll give it a bull kick again later this is the first of three bull kicks we're going to give this story um Yes, yes. Because there will be several more. There, I'm sure. it, there's going to be some other weird stuff to happen. But I love now thinking of what the event is. Because it's going to be an event. So what yeah. else is going to be on that card that weekend? And what's the co-main event of that? Oh, my God. Now I just want to off air start brainstorming. Because right now I can't even think of yeah. who would be What, what would be your craziest co-mains to that? What? what? Uh, that's what we'll ask the 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 people this week. What will be your crazy co mains? Yeah, to that yeah. I'm trying to think I of one I that just... would be fucking sick. Oh, I got one. Okay. Um, Michael Strahan versus Kelly Ripa. <laughs> oh my god, I'm not. Yep. Yes. Yep. I don't like him put, either put, now, put man. Man, I fuck with him, man. I, I, I saw him I on the Billboard but I Music Awards, and I was like, I don't like you now, because I've been reading a lot of <laughs> stuff about him about how he's not cool on the set really like he's real like hey everybody to your face uh, and he kinda, off, he and does kind of seem the set, like that. like he's real standoffish and an asshole and okay so i'm not gonna take it at, for full value because right. obviously that's a writer's point of view or that's right so but now i look at him like that it got me one of the articles i read it got me i'm, I'm yeah. totally that guy that re- reads something <laughs> and then, then it sticks in a little bit Soured. but i still try to be like you know open to it but a little bit sticks with me so now I just I saw him on the Billboard Music Awards and can we talk about that too? Um, I watched. Did you watch any of it? Mm, I watched. I kind of half watched most of it. <laughs> like I saw Britney. Mm, um, I saw I the like intro. That. I mean, Why I not? liked that. I liked it, but oh, okay. I, but like she's. I, I said it was a throwback, man. It that was a throwback. Like college, college years. But and stuff. I said she's exactly where she's should should have been her whole life. Like she is a showgirl. Mm-hmm. She's a Vegas showgirl. Yep. She always was. She never was great at singing, really. But she was an entertainer, yep. and so she's exactly where she needs to be right now. And yep. that was she's a total Vegas act. Yep. So that was cool. Um, but it was uh, it was okay, man. I don't, I hate lip syncing a lot. Yeah. When yeah. when I've seen like Justin Timberlake, you know, perform yeah, twenty five minutes, murdering it, running around dancing, dancing, singing live. Yeah. And then I see her like lip syncing and, and not dancing, and I'm like, see, man, you can be a a star and be live right. and be good, or you can just be an entertainer that just, or you can be devoid of talent. I know that's what it is, or at least elite. So talent. that's what I didn't like anybody that lip sync. On the Billboard Awards, I just some people sung live, like that Fifth Harmony group sung live, but they didn't sound good. No, they so, didn't. Uh, and once again, man, I need to. I might start DJing again. This is why you got to DJ our trip. Okay, like we we need to have. First of all, we need a song. 
We do. Panda's growing on me. I love Panda. Panda is growing I on me. I put some people on Panda. Yeah, it's growing on me. Like the first first few times I heard, I was like, nah, I can't do this. That means it is growing first day on me. I loved Panda. Like it's growing on oh, me. Oh man. So we can make can we make panda shirts? We should. Just I don't I'd wear one anyway. Yep. Um I'm 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 visualizing now, so I'm staring off into the distance. But this but so I've been wanting to like mash up songs lately and I think I just need to buy some new DJ equipment because I have this little app on my phone that imports Spotify and that's cool when I can DJ and yeah, make you mixes. Do that. But that's, uh that's crazy. Like, I love it. But I thought when that work song came out, I'm like, why isn't there a Rihanna work song and that Fifth Harmony work and you could do like work, 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 work. Dun, 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 dun. Yep. And like mix it back yep. and forth. It's both work, like, yep. and they're two popular songs right now. Yep. I keep thinking of like ma- mashups that I want, and I'm like, somebody should do that. You know what? I'm gonna fucking You're gonna do it. Do it. Yep. All right, we got off task. We have task. No, if, that's good, man. If I get a, if I get back to DJing, maybe we can, maybe I can insert some some clips into the show too. Okay. Different times. Yeah, that'll work. I feel like I've been talking about this for a little bit. I, this show is like clip heavy already. Like, I know, I like pictures it. and my injury, so. Evolving, so, we're evolving. We are evolving, and we're now we're gonna, now we're gonna, De-evolve. now I'm just gonna, de- yeah, I don't even know, man. Like, I'm getting down because our last segment today, spoiler segment, spoilers, yeah, spoiler, spoiler alert, everybody, spoiler, spoiler. <laughs> sound right. like a dying cat <laughs> <laughs> or a cat in heat. Yeah, spoiler, spoiler, <laughs> God. <laughs> Just is one thing away from. Oh <laughs> like, god! All right, Game of Groans. That's that's my thing. That's 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 just you. Though. Game of Groans. That's what I named this segment. That's you. I watch Game of Thrones. I hate myself when I do. <laughs> like I don't know. I don't hate myself, but I'm not a huge fan of it. But I am a huge fan of it, and I'm very confused because I don't like that genre of movie time frame i don't like night stuff really i liked first night the movie because that was cool what a throwback yeah i like that movie really i just like (laughs) shannon sosaman i think yeah uh yeah and heath ledger was cool but i like the rock they put into it like it was fun movie so i like that but i don't really like medieval knights and like i never played fantasy stuff yeah Yeah, i never played the card game you know all that stuff like i don't like that stuff so it's weird that i like game of thrones totally me that's that's all it is like right up my alley it's not up mine so it's weird that i even like game of thrones at all and honestly one of the seasons it was an ongoing joke that within 20 minutes of every episode i fell asleep because (laughs) one episode one season was so dark and dialogue heavy that I would put it on. We'd start it, and I would be out. Within and then minutes. I would find you on Tuesday when we work together, and be like, "Dude, did you see it?" You're like, mm, "Nope." Not so this really. season, I'm like staying awake watching. A lot um, more action packed. Yeah, a lot and, more action. And I and I like th- that they're kind of tying some stuff up finally oh, now. Definitely. Uh, they did the last season. They set up a lot of stuff, so now they're tying some things together. But I put it here. What the fuck <laughs> happened last episode? At the end, it was a. T- it's just your mind was blown so much that you don't understand. It didn't make sense. It didn't make sense. So, hold or hold the door. Hold the door. Hold the door. Hold hold or. the door. I like that. That was clever writing. Okay. Fucking, uh, that, that was that cool. Was not clever writing. That was brilliant. Yeah, that was awesome. That was brilliant. That was and, awesome. And to read, like I read before that when the writers first met and they discussed his character because now it's all free right yes, it's all new yes. writing nothing the book anymore yeah, right nope it's all nope. just writers they're, they're ahead of the book technically yep, so that's what i thought they said when george rr R. martin who's the the creator of the books when he met with the tv people and they discussed hodor the very first time so this is probably like eight years ago i would guess right. he brought up how his name came from hold the door and you know, wrote out the scene and said, this is how he got his name. So just to have that sort of forethought and to save something for, you know, <laughs> half a decade later and, um, you know, have that reveal be what it was. It was it was beautiful. It was beautiful writing. And um, 
I loved it. One of the things um, that I also was told, my brother-in-law told me that that episode was directed by one of the guys who directed my one of my other favorite TV shows of all time, Lost. And <laughs> see, 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 don't, don't fucking start. I hate that show. Oh my god! Now, now see, see, now you're getting me excited because Lost. That episode was an episode of Lost. You're lost. <laughs> that was exactly that whole show too lost i stopped watching because i was lost and i am fucking smart like i'm not stupid so it's not like i don't get episodes like because i i think i'm pretty forward thinking i can piece things together it didn't it doesn't make sense this episode didn't make sense because okay, what don't you understand i'll i'll, I'll help you okay and i and i hope we can figure I'll this attempt. out to help you. it didn't and maybe when i say it out loud i'll it'll be like oh and that's it, hey that'd be great no it's not gonna happen because it's way too confusing so he got so they're doing some time traveling this kid yes. doing some time tra- brand his name brand yeah. doing some time traveling back and forth seeing how things used to be and why people are how they are now by going back in time seeing them as kids so he held he got the name see that's what i'm saying he was older and held the door as older Hordor. But then he had his seizure, but it because of the time travel, it the holding the door and like seizing out brought him made him seize when he was a little kid. So did he get then but then he so he got the name when he was young, but because of the what? stuff that happened in the future affected him in the past, and that's what? how he get okay. This is what and this is I didn't read this most, <laughs> most of the time. <laughs> most of the time <laughs> like most of the time I read stuff and then I regurgitate what I read. It didn't make sense. But this is what this is what I think. You have to open your mind to thinking of time as not linear, not past, not present, not future. Think of it as all of it happening at once. So imagine all of that happening at once. So he was technically in the past, but that was all happening and rewriting things that we've already seen. Now, see, I have a big, huge, sprawling theory about Bran and that really the the hero of the show is Bran. Like, he has been changing things all along, like changing everything all along to help them or to help the people on the show eventually beat the the White Walkers. So you have Bran who, like they even talk about the, the I think his the character was the Mad King that got killed by Jamie, the, the King Slayer. Yes. Um, yes. <clears throat> and that he used to repeat, like burn them with fire, like over and over and over again. And I, they thought he was crazy. And I think that was one of those situations, just like the hold the door thing where he was getting in trying to, you know, trying to change people's minds. A lot of people think, or not a lot of people, some people say that the Three-Eyed Raven, which is the dude that was in the tree mm-hmm. with Bran, was actually, like, taught by Bran. So, like, that that's real mind fuckery right there. So you got to... <laughs> and he was, he was taught by Bran, placed there to help Bran learn to become the person that he turns into. Yeah, that 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 came off really well. I think I understand it. I'm not sure, but I think I do. And um I'm just going to roll with it, man. I need to. I need to just chill out. <laughs> like cuz I'm so like yeah, you're kind of a concrete thinker on things. Yeah, sometimes. man. And I I need not to be. It's Game of Thrones. They're like little Medusa witches. I need to just accept that this show is not real. Like it's now we're getting into like wizards and I mean, you know, at first I think I watched it and kind of liked it because there wasn't any of that stuff really Mm -hmm. like maybe early on now they're getting and I like the White Walkers, too, but they're they're like uh, it's a comical character. or They're not real. There's no such thing as those. So once they started being more prevalent in the show, I just need to be like, okay, now like magic can happen. Mm. I've never really liked magic like and I've never really watched shows, but that's not real because i watched superhero shit i love superhero shit but like i know going into it like that can have like that's gonna happen yeah it's gonna it's gonna get trippy from here on i don't know why i'm not just i just didn't once again the hold the door his name was ridiculously awesome Mm -hmm. very clever i loved that that was very very clever it was great i just thought the 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 reality and like I, i didn't get it i'm like so did he get the name when he was little or did he get the name i thought he got it when he was older but then he's having a seizure so then he got it it's, when he was little it's all being written at the same time so what what we've seen make that 
what we what we've seen. While I watch the next show. I'm just gonna like <laughs> the whole time. Me going back and forth in time. <laughs> what, it. what we've seen the entire time is what has happened. Maybe maybe that did happen. Maybe the brand part did happen in the past. Maybe it did happen in the past. Um, maybe him warging into Hodor happened at the same time. Okay. Maybe it it all led to what happened. Just what 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 happened happened. Just look at it like that. What happened happened. What what happened happened. Okay, I guess you put it like that. <laughs> that's the, like that doesn't really do anything for me. But yeah, because I mean, it like, did. Because you can't if you can't figure out whether it was past, present, or future. It, you it don't just have happened. to. I guess yeah, it's it happened. happened. All right, man. It is what it is. Right? There you go. <laughs> like <laughs> the 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 worst most hated phrase ever it is what it is yeah it's fine though but it's yeah. it's the most one of the most hated and it's one of my favorites though because mm-hmm. like in the times like look man it is what it is like just move on so yeah. all right i'm but, moving on one thing that, that i have on. to say about the show too like you said is i'm i'm so glad that after so many seasons that it's finally like moving and progressing and you can yes. see yes. the end game yes. sort of developing and I know I think they said we probably have two seasons left after this one. And I would only imagine it's going to speed up even more. So it's I'm cool happy. to see, starting to see people come together and things progress. I need some dragons again, though. Oh, it's coming. All right. It's coming. They're I need coming. some dragons. Okay. They're coming. So what did you guys think about Game of Thrones? You like Hold it? Hold the you door. You don't like it? Hold the door. We need a picture. Like, I, I saw everybody posting pictures of holding the door. Yeah. <laughs> He's, like he's that, a beloved man. fan, so you know, or yeah, a character. Yeah, it so was that, man. You know. I, it it kind of it kind of hit me a little bit harder than I thought it was going to hit me. It, I didn't get emotional, but oh man, I got to talk about that. But go ahead, go ahead. No, go ahead. Like um, we're good. There's a video game that I'm playing currently that I had to stop playing, um, and I'm going to blame it on the meds because it's called Unraveled, <laughs> and it, <laughs> it's a it's an EA game um, for for Xbox. I believe it's on PlayStation Four, but um. It's about a ball of yarn, and um, (laughs) man, buddy, you need to get better. It's about a yarn person. You need to get better. Okay, now first off, this ball, this this, this ball, (laughs) this ball of yarn turned like okay. He's going on adventures, right? So you, you you notice that at the end of the first like sort of mission thing, it's not really a mission. It's just him like moving around the backyard and like <laughs> you have to tie yarn on certain things, like swing across, it's like a platform game. It's like Sonic, but with yarn, okay. but um, way more, you know. Like Earthworm Jim. Yeah, but like more um, gentle with his presentation. Like it looks, it looks sweet. And then you figure out eventually that the yarn is a toy that the um that the kids in the video or in the game um brought with them that was given to them by well yeah you eventually figure out it was given to them by the grandma grandma dies but the ball of yarn or whatever the yarn toy <laughs> the yarn toy is um i just keep talking I'm just you, 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 you <laughs> oh see at the end of the, at the end of the first level, I only got through one level. So at the end of the first level, you see the yarn toys' perspective of um, like it's like a photo album, and you see a yarn, the yarn toys' perspective of um, of the kids, and you can see them like growing up and progressing through the years, right? So <laughs> I like how so, serious this just got. You're talking about a fucking ball of yarn video game. Hey, okay. First off, the ball of yarn's name is Yarny. Okay. <laughs> So I'm gonna blame it on the meds, man. But <laughs> I'm sitting here, and my wife was playing a game, and I'm watching her, and I'm you know trying to help her or whatever. My daughter's over there sitting down too, and my mom is over you know in the other corner sitting down. And we're all watching playing a game, and I'm um, gonna blame it on the meds. But when they like opened up the little photo album, and then you figured out that the you're seeing the kids like progress through time, like I fucking teared up, bro. Like <laughs> I mean straight up, like. <laughs> I, I tried to talk. <laughs> my, my, my wife looked at me, and, and you, you know her. So she looked at me. She's like, "Seriously, what is wrong with you?" <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I'm like, "I don't know. I just got choked up." Dude, it happens, man. Dude, let's talk. What about is it. that, dude? Big Hero Six. I told you last year. <laughs> I fucking cried in Big Hero Six. I tell everybody, I don't give a fuck, man. But like, the Big Hero Six. Ja- the ja- it got me. It just get it gets you when it gets you. You're not yep. ready for it. I wasn't yep. ready for it. The Japanese brother died. Yep. It made me sad. 
it, it, it no now okay hey it means we're fucking human man yes it does it means I, we're not I've never assholes. never cried on a video game the it's only right. other times that i cried right. were um remember the titans i cried during that yeah. um and i cried during um the movie glory have you seen that yeah yeah that was oh, book fucking. of life i cry a lot of See, cgi book movies book of life didn't get me fucking up Oh, Up didn't get me. Oh, bro, Up was the saddest shit ever. Like when when they go through the the, the beginning, the grandma yeah, and stuff, yeah, like, I that was, was like, sad. But I didn't. I don't know. I didn't it, get it. It threw me for a loop because I'm like, what the fuck am I watching? Like I didn't come here to be sad. Like and I was fucking DreamWorks sad, and man. see that that gets you, man. They get you. <laughs> fucking Pixar. Yeah, fucking but Pixar. Fucking Yarny, man. Yarny. They, well, they, now I gotta check it out, man. I'm gonna. And it was just like the music and stuff they were playing, weird. and like the pictures sort of like dissolved in, and then you figured out that and it's it like this toy. <laughs> it's this toy. Jamie. Seeing all of the things that, like, watching these kids grow up through time, and then you realize that the toy is really like the grandma's memories, and it just fucking got me, man. It got me. Oh, and then there's. Have you ever seen uh, the Thirty for Thirty with the guy um, who had like a. I don't know if he had like two or one sort of like um, um, prosthetic legs and he was like running cross country mm-hmm. for some like to raise awareness or something. But I don't know exactly what it was. 30 for 30 ESPN. I saw a commercial for that a few years and like they showed him at one point and it was like he was just fucking hobbling up this hill like running. And like I just broke out into tears, man. You need <laughs> like, to make a list. That's all right, man. That's all yeah, right. That, now that is a question for everybody. What? What good, good and bad. Well, not, I'm gonna say good and bad, but good, like good movies that you cried at, or and then things that you probably shouldn't have cried at no. that you did cry. iPod at. commercial <laughs> on Christmas last Christmas, I cried. Oh, bro, you know what I'm talking yes. about? Yes. Yep. Yes, got me, got me, got me, got me, got me. That was a that was just like, <laughs> dude. That was like street. I think like both eyes like going down. I'm like, oh yeah. man, iPod. Fuck you, <laughs> like, fuck you, Apple. Fuck, fuck you, you, Apple. Now I gotta buy seven of them. All right, yeah. Make a list. What's made you cry? Hey, man, that makes me happy. That we're we're not complete asses man no, like we got feelings no, we got feelings too man 100%, talk man. all about this fight stuff we got feelings. yes yes and i believe yes this is what makes us as popular as we are because cool, we good. do stuff like this like man that. it's fun yes so let's wrap this up time we're, we're closing nope. in on some time yeah so upcoming ufc fight night this sunday i'm looking forward to this sunday card and that's i said the super printer was being weird this morning so i had to I had to do this on the side, but so <clears throat> UFC Fight Night Sunday, Fox Sports One, uh, Cody Garbrandt versus Almeida. Um, they're really trying to get Garbrandt hype good. I think he wins this one. I do too. Excuse me, man. This uh, <laughs> this uh, got me burping a little bit. It's because uh, it's non spicy this week. Right, it is. So, yes. <laughs> uh, can't wait to go back to spicy. So, uh, anyway, the co main event is what I'm looking for. Uh, Hen and Burrell. Makes his debut at featherweight versus Jeremy Stevens. Man, crazy matchup, man. Ooh, who do you have? Stevens. Me too. <laughs> Me too. I was talking with somebody about yeah. this on on Twitter the other day too. Oh, Stevens, but that is a oh, that's a nice matchup. I'm, I can't wait for that one. Actually, too, before that, Tarek Safadine. I'm a huge fan of him. Yes. I want to see some question mark kicks. Uh, I think he beats Rick Story. Yep. Um, and then we got Kamal Unless Story gets him down. That's true. Yeah, then it, then it's then, then it's, it's a whole different story. Oh, <laughs> oh, like that. All right, then it's uh we got Kamozi, Miranda, uh Lorenz Larkin, Jorge Masvidal I like a lot and uh Berkman and Felder. I like mm-hmm. Paul Felder. Mm-hmm. Um so that's a good card. That's a I love Sun I've always said this, man. I love Sunday night cards. Fox Sports one. This one's a great one. Um I can't wait just to kind of relax and, and watch it for free. Mm-hmm. Good stuff. <clears throat> then next Saturday on the 5th, right? Is that the 5th? 4th? 4th. June 4th. Yes. Uh, UFC 199. Um, let's make some quick picks here. So let's start with the let's start with the the card that the fight that kicks off the card. Dustin Poirier, Bobby Green. Um, who do you have winning that? Mm. Poirier. Ooh, I got Green. Poirier. I love uh, Bobby Green. Man. I think it's a resurgence for Poirier. I know he's been kind of I like off both the of them, scene man. a little bit. I do too. I'm a huge fan of both too. of them. Ever since Fight Night or uh, Fightland, yep. when they had the Dustin Poirier yep. documentary. Yep. But I like Bobby Green too, man. Uh, I like his style. It's mm. uh, I just like 
<laughs> you know, I think we're at a time too where yes, it could be the resurgence of Dustin Poirier, mm-hmm. but it's also like time for some new faces to come up. True. Um, True. And you know, I just think Bobby Green's always been on that like cusp of like oh, right only popular, edge, right but like getting edge. injured or yep. some low blow happening or whatever. Right. So I'm pulling for him for this. But man, great fight to kick off mm-hmm. the card. Really um, very entertaining. Next one, not so much. Uh, Hector Lombard, Dan Henderson. I've got Lombard winning. Yeah. That but I could see <coughs> Henderson winning again and then not going away. Uh, like, he keeps winning, so yeah. he's not going away. Yeah. And I just, I'm over, like, his, he doesn't, he just is going to throw overhand punches. He's going to throw 10 of them, and one might land, and then he might win. And it wasn't because he, like, grinded it out or, like, won spectacularly. It's because he threw an overhand right, and when those land, they drop you. If there's if there's any fight on this card that's going to last one round, it's this one. Yeah. <laughs> this one and Hector Lombard too, man. I've just over, over. N- never been a huge fan of his. I'm not either, either man. He's but I just <coughs> see him kind of out muscling Henderson, so that's why I'm going to give him the win. Yeah. Um, next fight though, featherweight, Max Holloway, Ricardo Lamas. This Ooh. is a big fight, man, Ooh. for both these guys. Um, Ooh. they are also you know up there as far as getting a chance of the title. Um, I don't know if this is a number one contender fight. I don't yeah. think so. Um, but uh, man, I chose Max Holloway over Lamas. Yeah, I got that Lamas was, in that one. <laughs> that, was a, that was a tough pick for me, Yeah, man, that's, that's a hard one. That's one, a hard one. It's like the Bobby Green and Poirier. This one actually was harder for me to pick than the Bobby Green mm-hmm. and Poirier because they're so close, and I've seen mm-hmm. – I love watching both of them fight. I just feel like Max Holloway right now um, has fought a little bit better of competition than mm-hmm. Lamas, and uh, he's, got a, he's got a streak right now. Um, just He's on a little wave. And I think that wave continues, so I'm going to give it to Max Holloway. You're giving it to – I love this, man. We're, we're split. Yeah, yeah. I and kinda, we've kind of been that way for yeah, a while. Good, After man. we were weirdly going the same way for a while. Well, long we're going to go man. the same way for the next one. <clears throat> yeah. Dominic Cruz, your eye favor. Cruz, obviously. So – Title fight. So, right? so fast. Yeah. So over – oh, so over, so fast. Like, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, um, I hope your Uriah, you know, hangs in there and, and does some stuff in the clinch like he's known for to do a long time, like he used to you, do. No, you, and you know what? Is this? Yeah, this would be for the belt. Wouldn't it is it? for the belt. It's their third time fighting. So it's belt. not. So it, there's no way that Faber can win then. No, and <laughs> if, it, it, if it's for the belt, Faber and we can't may win. be in for a long fight too. Oh. I actually, that's what I picture. I picture oh. a five round fight where. Uh, Cruz gets the decision yep. win. Picks him apart and can't quite finish. Because Faber will shoot, and he he may take him down a couple times and grind <laughs> out for a couple minutes. And the, I just, you know, and he's been in there with Aldo, and, and Aldo couldn't stop him. He just yeah. beat, battered him to death. So maybe the same thing. I don't know. I Man, I got to, uh, yeah, I'm going with Cruz. Yeah. But I'm going to slightly hedge my bet only because I got a sneaky – Sort of suspicion that this one, that one might go weird and fucking Faber pulls That's it That's okay, because then we can maybe see Faber and Dillashaw then. Oh, that would be great. Yeah, Dillashaw yeah, can win his fight in 200. Especially Faber with Faber being finally validated. Like, I'm, and, and if I had to pull for either of those guys, it would be Faber. Oh, I'm pulling for Faber oh too, God. man. Once again, my heart yeah. wants Faber to win because he's always just been, you know, that fighter that we've made fun of, yeah. honestly, yeah. for just almost being the top right but never getting it. Right so there. I'd love to see him win too. <clears throat> Once again, it could be the night of upsets. 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 It could be the night of upsets. <laughs> the upsets. Night of upsets. Uh, Luke Rockhold, Michael Bisbing. I've got, we've got Rockhold, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, but our hearts have Bisbing, mm-hmm. I think. Because we want to see Bisbing win. Because he and Uriah Faber are like the poster children for never getting a title shot. Almost there. Really good, but not that good. Yep, like Right on that so, edge. But I just think <laughs> Rockhold gets that one. But I would love a night of upsets yeah i think the ufc would too man just to Me too, sort yeah. of liven and spice things up a little bit so um it, it it sucks when things get a little bit predictable yeah um but not not saying that they're overly predictable now or anything like that but yeah it would be that would be a great night to see a bunch of upsets i'm ready for this next couple of weeks man some good fights right fans we yeah. got some good stuff coming up um we're gonna continue to uh do the show from somewhere here and yeah. back to analog. I don't know, man. We'll figure it out. We got to get, we got to get this uh, bionic leg better. That's what's going on right now. So we are. This is for you guys, man. We're <coughs> in JD's living room doing this show for you. You know we love you guys, man. That's what we do. Um, 
our, we still got to give some love and say thank you to Analog Arcade Bar for being the best freaking venue to have our show at. 302 Brady Street, Davenport. Go check them out. They're starting to have some new contests. I saw You it. know, spring and summer. <laughs> I'd be like. They, they had, had a basketball Papa Shot tournament, too. That yep. looked awesome. Man. They had the ice, the tapper, or not tapper, but the ice cold beer yep. tournament. Like, yep. So, you know, we're hoping to get back there, too, um, you know, sometime this summer. Yeah. Have another yeah. event. Yeah, we got to do something. We'll figure it out. You know, maybe back to school event in late August or something. Kick off football, something. Yeah. Have a yeah. blitz have tournament. A blitz tournament. That would be awesome. Spoiler. And that one I'm gonna Spoiler. win. Spoiler. <coughs> we have an NBA <coughs> Jam tournament again. Me and you had. Do, the, I, do I need to re-roll the clip of, of me falling? I'm, I'm not doing jam. anything. No. No. Ba- so nothing bas- with basketball. Dang. I don't even watch basketball. That's fine. Anymore. I won. I'll take my win and leave. <laughs> I'll take my victory and yeah, you retire. Did, man. That was a great uh, game, though, that dude. Was. That was the most fun I've had playing NBA <laughs> Jam in two decades. So uh, thank you again, though, to Neon Energy Drink, www.glowenergy.neonenergyclub.com. We love you. Yes. We love uh, you. As you can see, the uh, excitement has risen throughout this show because uh, the neon's in the system. Mm -hmm. That's about it, man. American Hybrid Nick Cunningham. Let me, let me slightly apologize for being so squirmy, but this leg thing is uncomfortable, so that's why I'm kind of moving and repositioning. Yeah, I don't think you guys understood show. this whole show. He's <coughs> moving, sitting down, his legs out. Like yeah, my leg doesn't like. I normally don't even put my leg down, so like normally it's propped up. So yeah, this is a little bit uncomfortable, but I did it for fucking you. I did it for you. Dedication. Hashtag. Hard dedication. work. Dedication. Floyd Mayweather. Hard work pays off no (laughs) No. fuck get money no i say hard work then you say dedication oh all right i just said it before i said it i didn't know you were gonna like tell me to do it really quick hard work dedication there you go (laughs) kick and make up american hybrid jeremy jd dorsey remember don't solve in the streets take it to the cage and kick and make up if you can kick Mm, 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 that'll help it right it'll be over (laughs) 